as you all know i hate doing voiceovers but i had to give you guys a video or two so right now i'm just cutting out the pattern of the top part of this puffer jacket the pattern that i'm using is one of my dress patterns but i only use part of it like the bodice part of it and then just take it off and cut it however long i wanted to cut it and I'm just going to keep on cutting out from the bodice to doing the sleeves. And then I'm also going to cut out the collar part. And then I'm going to do like two sets of each so that I can have a facing part, which is like the inside of the jacket. So you can't tell the cut. So you won't be able to see the stuffing. So I'm going to do an inside part too. So you just see me doing exactly what I was saying I was doing. Excuse me for my nappy head and what my daughter is doing in this video. She was eating her cookies and I was just up sewing and I decided to just go do this. And you're going to see my hair, change, my hair color change. Y'all made this part of this video i forgot when like i literally forgot when that i made this because my hair is not even the same color it's red now so yeah i forgot when but you're just gonna see me cutting out the patterns the other parts of the pattern Now that I'm done cutting, you need two fronts, two backs, two sleeves, and one collar. And you will be cutting out the same thing for the outside of the fabric, inside of the fabric, and the stuffing of the fabric. If you use the other type of stuffing, which is not what I use, is like manually stuffing it. I don't, I prefer not to do that one because it's kind of hard. Well, it's not hard. It's just too much for me. I just don't like doing that one. But right now, I'm going to just draw the lines on where I want my lines to be at for how I'm going to do my puffer coat. And I did four lines on each one of them. But when I began to sew it, I just took away some of the lines. So, yeah. I'm just going by however I want to go, go by it.
Now, after you cut, I mean, now after you draw your lines, then you'll start going, sewing everything individually, all the lines individually, just go to each line. And then that's basically almost it to what you're doing for a puffer coat. Now that you have everything all done, sewn, sewn, everything is all sewn, now all you have to do is just start pinning everything together. But what I forgot to do is cut out my front part. So I'm just going to fold it and then cut down the center. But yeah, that's all you got to do is just pin everything together. And then girl, you already working. Now, let me get back to this sewing machine and so, 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 so. Just started pinning everything together. So after I did everything, I just thought of a quick way to do it. Do is just pin together my sleeves to everything so I could just do one manual. So so that's what I'd be doing throughout this whole part right here.
Remember when I said cut two two sleeves, two front parts, and two back parts, but don't cut uh, two collars, just cut one collar. This is why. Because for the inside of this puffer jacket, you would need like a casing like, and that's what I did. I'm just going to fold everything and I'm going to pin everything down and then I'm just going to sew it like I will sew the outside part. Okay, and right here my sewing machine broke down, so I had to stop the video and I had to take my sewing machine back to Shapley's and let them fix it. But my here's just the broke finishing down part. On me. I had to take it to Shapley's, but the only thing left that I had to do was just sew down this part of the sleeve and then the inside, which is like a little band for the bottom of her jacket. And the same thing the sleeves i did a collar on it and then i had to add a zipper so yeah i'm gonna post this on my instagram once i'm finished with it once i give me another machine but yeah that is it